Let's take a look at a technique to put a whole bunch of images into After Effects and have them uh, display for a fixed short period of time. This could be uh, a sequence of time-lapse photos. It could be a stop-motion project with a lot of pictures of things moving slightly in each picture. It might even be a cell animation that you photographed on a copy stand. So let's go here, start by going to File, Import. I'll go to the Import a File. Here I have a bunch of pictures of pliers that I took in the driveway. And I know that the sequence of these that I like is the one that starts at 650. And its uh, creation date goes down here to there. 655. <clears throat> and I'll leave all of this alone and go to open and they all pop in here. Now these are camera photos. They're much bigger than video. Uh, so what I will do here is I'm going to make a composition the size of the camera photos. I can always take that composition, nest it into another project and reduce the size of it. But this way I get every pixel I shot in uh, glorious detail. Okay, the big trick here is you hold down your command or your control key or right click and you get the menu that gives you new comp from selection. So it's creating a new composition from that selection and uh, it's going to use the dimensions from the image and I will put in a duration. Um, let's say 10 frames per clip. And the big trick here is this one here, sequence layers. This will let them sequence out automatically. So let's go. And look at that. These guys automatically came in 10 sec or 10 frames per image in nice orderly fashion. We'll play the uh, RAM preview. And here is my set of pliers. Flip, flipping around on the driveway. So that is uh, the big trick to doing a stop motion animation. And then, like I said, I could take my, my composition and put that into another piece and uh, resize it to whatever the video project might be. But right now, if we take a look at it, composition settings, it says 2144 by 14. 24. That's kind of big. Uh, while I'm here, I will type in pliers animation, and there I have a composition of my moving pliers.